Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Riddhi Datta and in this video, I'm going to talk about four project types based on which you can generate multiple project ideas and build projects and showcase it in your resume and your interviews. These projects would cover front-end projects, back-end projects, as well as full-stack projects. So while you make these type of projects, your knowledge on web programming as well as development on a whole would be widened. You will learn a lot and it will not only help you in your project round and also to get your CV shortlisted, but also while you will start working for any company. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. So I will start off with a very famous front-end project that is cloning a project right and not only cloning I would also talk about integrating with third-party APIs is again this is very important so now for the third-party API integration part there is a website called rapid API which consists of both free third-party APIs as well as paid third-party APIs and you don't need to go and pay for those APIs only use the APIs which are free right so let's say one of the famous third-party APIs is MovieDB right which you can use to fetch all the movie related information so that you don't have to use dummy data and you would get all those data just call the apis right and you will get all the dummy data and you can use it to populate your front end part so that the user is having a good experience also if you go to the rapid api website you will also see a tons of free api resources which you can use to build your project now the objectives the two major objectives for building this type of project is creating a responsive design and integrating with third party apis and the text stacks which would be involved generally here is html css for the styling part javascript or typescript and as well you would need to use a framework later on it can be react it can be angular it can be Vue. but i would highly recommend you to use react or angular any one of these two so now let's move on to the second type of project which is something that i built back in my college days as well it is basically a back-end project right but you can also turn it into a full stack project as well no harm in that so that is basically a chatting application using socket programming here the tech stack that i would recommend you to use is node.js because you have socket io as well to power your chat programming so now there are a lot of free online tutorials available which you can simply follow and make this project right while you are following this please feel free to understand this project and don't just blindly copy paste the code there is this one famous tutorial I think with code with Harry which I will attach the link in the description down below he has built an entire chatting application from scratch with HTML CSS and then he has used this node.js and socket IO I will attach the link to it in the description down below and apart from that also there is another video that I will share which is also a very good chat messaging app is a full stack project and it will also help you to deploy as well it also covers authentication so you can follow this tutorial tutorial and I will attach this link in the description down below as well if you want to do it with Java which is something I did you have to use this server socket package like socket programming in Java you can just search for it and you would understand and figure out hey guys I want to take a quick short break over here and want to introduce you to a platform that is Odin school so Odin school's web developer bootcamp is a full-time rigorous six-month bootcamp in front-end web and mobile development using react.js this bootcamp will help recent graduates IT and non-IT both who want to build their careers in software development we'll also get a placement support which is facilitated by Odin school's dedicated placement team that works with 500 plus partner companies such as Capgemini, PepsiCo, Sutherland, Genpact, etc. etc. This is a rigorous full-time six-month program which also has a dedicated placement assistance. Classes are from Monday to Friday. Now let's take a look at what Odin School's career services provide. Now it provides workshops on workplace behavioral skills, mock interviews, resume and professional profile building assistance, regular job drives and placement assistance with one of the best companies out there. Now let's take a look at the web developer bootcamp program. Now it's a six-month program and you will receive a placement assistance for up to two years. They would be helping you to build a portfolio which you will be able to showcase to your employers. Also, some of the highlights of the session include live interactive sessions with experienced instructors, regular interaction with industry experts, project based hands on learning, resume and online profile building, workshops, mock interviews. Uh, regular job hiring drives and placement assistance. So all in all, you will get the following benefits from them. 360 degree placement assistance, up to 30,000 INR scholarship. You can check out their placement success stories on their page. Odin Schools also negotiates on behalf of the students in the salary packages. You have a tender refund policy. You have an EMI option available. You have fees and scholarship. You will have live weekend classes and recorded lectures as well and unlimited job interview opportunity. I will attach the link to Odin School in the description down below. Feel free to check it out if it interests you. And now let's continue with the video. Now the third type of project is what I personally call a booking or a reservation system type of project where you are trying to book a particular resource right for example it can be a movie reservation like a book my show then it can be a train or a hotel reservation like hotel reservation like make my trip train reservation like ISCTC and this is one of the key back-end projects that I feel that every developer every college fresher out there interested in back-end programming should implement and learn so basically what I would suggest you is you can convert this again into a full stack project right by having the front-end part as well but if you're not interested in doing the front-end part what you can do is you can use 
use the Postman and for API testing and call these APIs. Here I would urge you to lay a little bit of emphasis on the system design part because since it's a backend project, especially the database design, right? And ensure that your database design is proper so that you're able to handle critical cases because the interviewer might come up with such questions. And if you are proposing this as a backend project, then interviewer definitely is going to touch on these topics. Now, one very, very important thing over here, especially in these type of projects is ensuring that you're handling the race condition. You have to ensure that no particular resource can be booked by two particular users at the same time because there might come a problem where two or multiple users are trying to book a single resource at the same time. And how do you deal with that? How do you handle that concurrent request? This question I am very sure would be asked by the interviewer and you should be ready to answer this and also you should be implementing this for you to understand as well. You can either use your application level locking or database locking which I prefer and if you want me to make a video on the same let me know down in comment and for the backend part I would recommend you to use Spring Boot on the application side and for the database you can use MySQL right that is an RDBMS to develop these kind of projects. Now if you're interested to develop a movie ticket booking system like Book My Show I've already discussed and made a video on the same where I talked about the system APIs I've given you the database design the challenges that you might face what are the things that you need to implement everything and you can check out that video that will help you out in the process I've also shared the resources which you can follow as well to make such type of projects now the fourth and final type of project which you should definitely implement is an e-commerce site now this basically I consider a full stack project because here if you develop this project you will learn both on the front end side as well as back end side of things you can include features like user authentication product search filter adding to shopping cart you can also include payment uh, but I would recommend you not to include payment right at this time because build this project and then only you can do the payment integrations with Stripe and PayPal and whatever it is then another important thing is placing an order and also managing the inventory right inventory management is again one, going to be a key backend feature but you also might have to handle sometimes the race conditions as well on the text pack perspective you would be requiring HTML CSS and either of react or angular in the front end side uh, also you might require state management as well we can use redux for that you might also need to integrate third-party apis to implement certain features and for the back end you can either use java spring boot or you can use node or express.js as well now there's one udemy course to which i will attach the link in the description which you can definitely follow to develop this project or otherwise if you just go on google and search simple e-commerce project using java or node.js you will find tons of projects and i will attach some of the links which i find meaningful in the description down below so feel free to check it out as well so yeah these are the four project types that i have figured out and now based on these ideas or based on these particular types you can make multiple projects but i feel if you just make these four projects you will be sorted on the full stack part of side but you will be sorted on the full stack side of things both front end and back end if you're not interested to go for the front end side only want to stick to the back end side then side of things then also it's fine or if you interested in the full stack i would highly recommend you to make all these four types of projects so that's it for the video guys i hope you have enjoyed my content if you had please feel free to press the like button and subscribe to my channel because these numbers motivate me a lot to make such video in the future please don't forget to check the description links because i will attach all the important resources down there so that it would help you to make such projects having said that i bid adieu over here i will come up with more such insightful videos till then stay safe and goodbye